Before I get started with the story, let me give a shout out to Twin Sister in the Discord for sending me this story right here. And I've always told people, if someone looks crazy, nine times out of ten they are. And this woman not only looks crazy, but her wig is off. And I've always told people, if a woman's wig is off, so is she. So we have this woman by the name of Carla Faith. And um, I think, I can't remember if this was a story I talked about or not, but I definitely heard about it. And basically the backstory of it is, this woman's a daycare owner and also along with two of her other workers, they're just not pictured on the screen because the main focal point is her, but it was other two women involved. Um, she was just found guilty <clears throat> because it turns out she hit 26 kids behind a wall at the daycare uh, center that she owned. Now, how she managed to pull that off, I have no clue. But she definitely had help. She was not alone. But she was like the mastermind behind this. I don't know how the hell she did it. And I hope the kids are okay. But this was posted on August 27th, 2021. And this is coming out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. A Colorado woman accused of hiding 26 children behind a false wall at her daycare center has been found guilty of child abuse and other charges. A jury found Carla Faith guilty of 26 counts of misdemeanor child abuse, a felony count of attempting to influence a public servant, and a misdemeanor count of running a child care facility without a license. One of her employees was also convicted of child abuse. Police found the children after going to face daycare in November 2019 after getting reports that it was caring for more children than allowed. And that's pretty, uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very short article, but I'm going to pause it right quick and see if I can find any additional information. Okay. So I did go and type her name into Google and I found some more information. They said in addition to child abuse charges, Faith was also found guilty of running a child care facility without a license and attempting to influence a public servant. She will be sentenced at a later date. El Paso County District Attorney Michael Allen said the verdict in the case reflects justice being reached on behalf of every single one of these parents that had to live through something that they never would have imagined. Having the kids locked in the basement at a place that they were taking their child, their kids to for care, someplace they trusted and felt like they were getting the care that they were expecting to achieve, Allen said. These kids were put into danger. This heifer is sick. And so are all the other two that were involved with her. Let, let me pause it right quick so you can see a picture of the other two. Here's all the parties that were involved. Of course, this is the one, the main person right here, but these are the other two as well. And this is the uh, daycare in which the um, madness had ensued. I hope they throw the book at all three of these heifers because all of them ain't even are nowhere near right in the head. And you can look at their mug shots and tell. But that's crazy. They said she hid them in a a wall. Like like hearing that, it just that just blew my mind. It made me think of that story that I did about the one in Baltimore about the cop that uh, killed his stepson and then hid him in a wall, like patted him inside of a wall. Man, that's and the only way that they figured out that he was there was because the smell of his body, the de the de the decomposition of his body left a bad odor in the um in the house, and that's how they figured out where he was. That's. It's some crazy ass people in this world, unfortunately, and some of them are living right up underneath your nose because they don't give off the appearance of them being a psycho. But I can look at them and tell that they are all off, especially her and her. But yeah, that's pr um, pretty much it. Like I said, it's not really much to go off on with this story. It's almost self-explanatory in and of itself that it doesn't even have to go into too much of an explanation. Although I want to know what the hell the motive was for her to even do something like that. Like who can't like who thinks to do something like that? Like who comes up with a scheme such as this and think that's a good idea? Like what did you expect to gain out of this? Like were you trying to get money out of the parents? I mean, you already getting that because they were paying you monthly for daycare, um, day, uh, daycare services. And I had daycare providers nowadays are not cheap. So. I don't know. Like I said, it's just some weirdos in this world. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments.